Hey guys, it's Neha. Today I'm going to give you guys my second most requested video after my curl routine, which is a full in-depth makeup tutorial. I've been receiving this question since I like started TikTok about a year ago and I've never came around to do a full in-depth one so I'm here to deliver that today. I'm not a makeup expert so this routine is beginner friendly so please ignore my nails in the background I'm taking summer classes and I'm going through it. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first category is skin prep. I am fully bare face right now, no makeup, no lashes. I have combination skin so I have both oily and dry skin. This makeup prep is really good for both dry dry and oily skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my lashes on. I literally don't know where these are from and I hate myself for it because they're so nice. I use wig glue as eyelash glue because it works so much better but use at your own risk because it's not meant for the eye. Okay now that my lashes are on I feel like my entire personality came back. Now we're gonna go in with the glow recipe toner. I know all the TikTok girls rave about this but it's actually so good. So I just apply it like this. There's no really technique. Probably shouldn't do it that rough, but... Okay, next is a moisturizer. This is the Embryolos, Embryolois Cream. It'll take about that much and then just apply it like normal. The last step for the skincare is the La Roche-Posay Sunscreen. Apply it everywhere. Okay, I went ahead and let that sunscreen sit for a bit. Now, time for my brows. I have none. I've been having none since i think i was like in grade 10 i got my eyebrows done and she literally took off everything I've never grown back properly so they're just like not a shocker but i go in with the anastasia brow pomade this is literally the shit like i've been using it for years never had to switch pomades so i got the chocolate one i think that's the one i'm gonna use today so for the eyebrow brush i use this anastasia eyebrow one i don't know what it's called all the writing came off basically i'm just going to line under my eyebrows and over my eyebrows and just fill it in So I filled in the brow with the pomade. Now I'm going to take this Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 2N and just go around it very lightly, cleaning up edges. This one's way thicker than that one, so it's making it perfect. My brows are done. Now the hardest part is picking a foundation. I accidentally buy new foundations every time, even though I like the one I'm using. I, just, I feel like I need more. And every day I struggle to pick one. I think I'm going to go with this one just because it has SPF and it is a hot summer day today. I take a pump on the back of my hand and for the sponge I'm going to use a Real Technique sponge. You're never going to catch me paying 20 bucks for a beauty blender. This one, 8 bucks, works just as good. Go ahead and just put this all over my face. And then one thing that I like to do is I like to align the bottom of my lips. Okay, I know I look really orange right now, but concealer is going to help. And I'm going to take the same Dior Forever Concealer in the shade 2N. I'm going to apply that to basically all the regular spots you would apply concealer. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend the chin and the nose only. Okay, I'm going to... I'm just gonna let my concealer sit for a while and while I let that sit and dry, I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Mocha and just put it on my cheekbone. And taking the flat side of my beauty blender and just blending that upwards. And I find that makes my face look so much more like sculpted. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out the concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Kosa Cloud Set in the shade Comfy. I'm going to take a powder puff to set my under eye. Okay, now that my under eyes are set, I'm going to take my all-time favorite loose powder. I bought Huda like a bunch of times, returned it, I hated it. This powder is what works the best for me. This is the one size translucent powder. I don't bake because I feel like that makes my makeup look a little more cakey. And take another dirtier dab a little bit and I'm going to go under my eye. I like to drag it here because I crease a lot here and then I get oily. So you see that difference? There's leftover in the puff and then just puff it where I get most oily, which is my T-zones. Okay, I know my makeup looks super cakey, but we're going to fix that in a second. But first, I'm going to go in with this Too Faced bronzer. 
what color is chocolate and then i'm gonna go in with the same like unique little type brushes these are honestly the best i'm just gonna dab a little bit and then go over my cheekbones and then make it seem like i have a jawline i like to take whatever is left over in the brush and then just brush it kind of over my nose like this and that just creates like a little bronzy look. So now it's setting spray. This is not the last step, but it's pretty close. I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. It's worth the hype. I'm gonna go in with this first and just spray the rest of my face. And then I'm also gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Gift just because I want a little bit more shine and dewiness back into my face. Okay, and then now I'm gonna take a Q-tip and then just remove any product from my eyelid. And then I do really light bottom mascara. This is just the M Girl one in Too Faced. And then if I'm feeling like it, I'll just take this like this Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil and I'll just line under my eye. I do like the corners for like a foxy eye effect. Put on this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow. This fan brush and then just brush it on. Last but not least is the lip color. I've an obsession with the Tarte Maracuja ones. Just like too good, but like 30 bucks for two grams. Like who's gonna buy that? I think I'm gonna do the Cherry Blossom one today. I hate lip liner. I hate dark lip colors. I like a very natural lip. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. It's kind of like my everyday makeup look. The perfect combination of like matte, but then glowy. Hope you guys like this video and I hope everything that I use works for you. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I will answer them for you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!